Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Well, folks, I'm a little excited about this next review. We've been holding on to this for a month. Back at CES in January, we got a chance to go to a booth run by XYZ Printing, and they showed us some of the greatest 3D printers on the market, including the Da Vinci, the one that is the best-selling 3D printer out there, and one that's actually very easy to service. Well, they had a new product, one that we focused on, the Da Vinci Junior, which promised to sell for much less than the original and give all of the same features. Well, they sent it to us, and we've been playing with it for a month, Here's what we thought. The Da Vinci Junior, as the name might suggest, is the smaller, less expensive brother to XYZ's Da Vinci 1.0. At 349, it's a full $150 less expensive than the original, but it maintains many of the features of the more expensive model. Out of the box, XYZ includes everything you need to get going: 100 meters of clear PLA filament, a build scraper, SD card, bed tape, head cleaners, power and USB cables, and a filament guide. The Da Vinci Junior measures 17 inches by 16.5 inches by 15 inches, weighs 26 pounds, and can build objects up to 5.9 inches cubed on its moving non-heated bed. It uses fused filament fabrication with PLA filament to lay down layers as tall as 0.4 millimeters and as small as 0.1 millimeter. XYZ designed a fantastically easy to feed filament system with one touch loading and unloading, and they designed the printing head with a one button removal to ease repair or replacement. A small LCD screen and control panel at the front of the unit lets you control all the functions of the printer, and an SD card slot lets you directly load STL or XYZ files for printing, completely independent of a computer. The filament spool itself is, well, controversial. XYZ equips their spools of filament with an NFC chip that lets the printer know exactly what kind of filament is loaded, its printing temperature, and how much filament is left on the spool. That does make printing simpler, especially when trying to figure out if you have enough filament left to complete a job before you start it. But geeks will be quick to point out that this is essentially DRM for filament. Since the Da Vinci Junior won't work with non-NFC equipped spools, and since NFC equipped XYZ filament is 20 to 40% more expensive than generic PLA, this could be a deal breaker for some. Okay, on with the making. Using the Da Vinci Junior is really really simple, even for first-timers. The bed doesn't require calibration, though you can enter offsets if desired, the feed system never jammed once in a month of testing, and you can use the SD system or USB interface to print. The DaVinci Junior has two ports, one for power and one for USB. Windows 7 and better, or OS 10 10.8 and up, will recognize the DaVinci Junior as a USB printing device. But I suggest copying your print to an SD card. Some prints can take hours, and having the printer as a standalone device is never a bad idea. If this is your first time using a 3D printer, you best go to any number of websites that can offer you free SDL files for various designs of parts, art, and knickknacks. You can load SDL files directly onto the SD card for printing, but I suggest using XYZ software to convert it to a native file format while also ensuring that the part will fit on the bed, is properly oriented, and to add supports or a raft to the design. Beyond that, you apply a sheet of bed tape, load up the printer, select your build, and let it go. There is something marvelous about watching parts being built before your eyes, and it's not just a novelty. I've spent more than 300 meters of filament on Raspberry Pi cases and quadcopter parts. First just downloading other people's creations, then modifying them, and finally creating pieces of my own. 
It's cheaper than buying those parts for sure and quicker than having them delivered, but that's not even the main reason why I like this. I love the fact that I can design, prototype, test, refine, and perfect my projects without ever leaving my lab. I have had so much fun with this printer over the last month. I, again, it's just that idea of, of seeing things come to life before your eyes. And again, the whole idea of having something like the Da Vinci Junior is that you give beginners a place to start. This is not the five or six or $800 3D printer. This is 349. And with that 349, you get most of the capabilities that you're gonna get with the bigger brother. Everything from a really high precision movable bed, non-heated bed, by the way, to that easily removable head so that if you do have a jam, it's, it's, it's nice and easy to clear. I mean, anyone who owns a 3D printer is gonna tell you that head jams are one of the biggest problems. This makes it easy to clear out. Now, on the pro side, of course, it's going to be priced. 349 is a great starting point. I also like the fact that it can work completely independently of a computer. You just use that uh, the SD card here, and uh, essentially, this becomes its own building workstation. I also like the fact that the the, uh, the, the print time is quite good. It's not good to, it's not the fastest 3D printer on the market, but it's definitely not the slowest. And I also like the fact that with uh, with the use of standard file formats, I can get things from the XYZ uh, 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 website, from the Thingiverse. Essentially, any place I can find 3D prints, I can find something that I can print on my XYZ printer. On the con side, the no-brainer has got to be the DRM on the filament. Now, I know they don't call it DRM, but that's essentially what it is. Yes, it does make it easier because now your printer knows exactly what's been loaded, but that would make sense on a printer that could load ABS or PLA. Since this only does PLA, which by the way is another con, you really don't need it. The only reason why you would have it is because you want to force people to buy your filament. And XYZ filament is gonna be 20% more expensive than standard filament. That's, I, I don't like that. Now I will say that on Know How, our other show here on the Twit TV network that may be dealing with 3D printers, we may show you a method to bypass that, but you, you, you didn't hear that from me. The other con is probably going to be the size. 5.9 inches is nice for the bed. I would have liked to have just a little bit more. There's actually space in this enclosure uh, to do a larger bed. Uh, I, I'm sure they limited so they could, they could delineate between this and some of the larger models. Still, for this price, for this feature set, for these capabilities, the XYZ Da Vinci Jr. is an absolute buy. Now, if you liked this, be sure to stay tuned to Know How. Next week, we're going to be doing a full rundown from start to finish on how you do your first print. And then in the weeks after that, we're going to show you things like how do you modify prints? And finally, how do you create prints of your own? The 3D printed universe is fantastic. Stay uh, tuned to, to Twit, and we're going to show you exactly how it works.